Chapter 916, Pressure A beam of green light suddenly shot out from the Duan Mu family and lit up the place nearby toward Duan Mu Ching. This is the true reason, a bright but old voice swept over, and Duan Mu Ching's expression became grim. He didn't expect the Grand Elder to come out directly. Zhao Feng felt that something was wrong. He was Duan Mu Ching's disciple but didn't even have the right to enter the Duan Mu family? An elder with a square face clothed in white instantly appeared in front of Duan Mu Ching. The auras of the two sacred lords caused the wind to howl and the clouds to move. Space itself twisted as the two clashed. The five emperors immediately retreated. The square-faced elder had cold eyes and paused slightly when he saw the golden-haired Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng's golden hair and golden eyes made him feel that something was amiss. Normal eye bloodlines would only change shape or color when something happened to it. Why was his hair gold too? Furthermore, Zhao Feng didn't even move when the auras of two sacred lords clashed. It was incredible that he was able to block the force of sacred lords so easily while he was only a king. Duan Mu Cheng, do you not know what Zhao Feng did in the divine illusion dimension? How can someone with such a personality join the Duan Mu family? The square-faced elder gazed coldly at Zhao Feng before continuing. Furthermore, this junior's friend is extremely evil. He slaughtered the elites of Nine Darkness Palace in the Divine Illusion Dimension after inheriting the power of an evil god and is still being chased by Nine Darkness Palace right now. Zhao Feng's expression changed slightly. Nan Gong Sheng was in the Continent Zone and in more danger than himself? Thinking about it, it was most likely because, if one tried to return to the Kang Ocean from the Divine Illusion Dimension, it would take a lot longer than going to the Continent Zone. In order to escape from the Black Destruction Serpent Dragon, Nan Gongsheng had to enter the Continent Zone. At the same time, Zhao Feng was thinking about what kind of level Nan Gongsheng had reached. One could tell that he had become much stronger from the fact that people were chasing him for two years but was still alive. He didn't know how much Nan Gongsheng's personality had changed though. Nan Gongsheng. Duan Mu Qing's heart was heavy. Nan Gongsheng was the head disciple of the mystic true sacred clan and a once in a thousand years genius. Because he had inherited the power of an evil god, Nine Darkness Palace and other demonic forces were all chasing after him. Nan Gongsheng's personality had also been affected by the power of the evil god, he became cruel and bloodthirsty. Many forces that were pursuing Nan Gongsheng were killed by him instead. Duan Mu Qing was unable to save Nan Gongsheng, and the Duan Mu family was unable to protect the inheritance of the evil god. Furthermore, Zhao Feng specializes in illusions and eye bloodline techniques. He cast an illusion on Zhao Yufei and now he even dares to come to the Duan Mu family, the square-faced elder continued as his tone became cold, and killing intent flashed through his eyes. Grand Elder, it wasn't like that. Duan Mu Qing immediately retorted. Zhao Yufei and Zhao Feng knew each other even before the mystic true sacred clan, so it definitely wasn't like what the Grand Elder said. If it wasn't for the fact that you are his master, I would have slain this junior by now. The square-faced elder stopped Duan Mu Qing and looked at Zhao Feng with angry eyes, as if he was about to explode. Duan Mu Qing, you are from the Duan Mu family, but you're acting against it. You're against Zhao Yufei marrying into the imperial family and you're spoiling your disciple. You need to know that Zhao Yufei is your junior martial sister. The square-faced elder didn't give Duan Mu Qing any chance to speak. Duan Mu Qing was someone who thought well of his family and wanted to make it great again. The square-faced elder's logic made Duan Mu Cheng unable to retort. Duan Mu Cheng, tell your disciple to leave and never trouble Zhao Yufei again. The square-faced elder continued and acted as if he was taking a step back. Zhao Feng heard everything that the grand elder of the Duan Mu family said. This sacred lord sacrificed members of his family in order to make it great and pretended to be righteous when doing so. Zhao Feng felt lucky that he didn't choose to come to the Duan Mu family with his master back then. A family like this wasn't worth his effort. Whoosh! Whoosh! Right as the square-faced elder and Duan Mu Ching were in a stalemate, three more figures flew out of the Duan Mu family, but from the clothes they wore, they were definitely not from the Duan Mu family. Grand Elder, sorry for disturbing you, but this issue is also related to us, the leading middle-aged male in black and golden robes explained. There were two elders behind him who were both peak tier kings. The three had their eyes trained on Zhao Feng and it was obvious that there was enmity between them. You're Zhao Feng? We're from the Grand Duke's Palace of the Fengkai Province, the black and golden robed male questioned. The Fengkai Province was the province next to the Duan Mu family, and the Grand Duke's Palace was the ruler of the province. 
Duan Muqing's expression changed slightly. He didn't expect that someone close to the Imperials was here. The ruler of the Fengkai province was the older brother of the Sacred Emperor and the Thirteenth Prince's uncle. The two behind him should be from the Thirteenth Prince's faction. I am Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng's expression was the same as usual as he looked at them. That's good. Now we don't have to go find you. The middle-aged male spoke in a proud tone and had a disdainful expression as he continued, You used an eye bloodline technique to trick Zhao Yufei in the divine illusion dimension. Thirteenth Prince won't count this against you, but since they are now engaged, you will be held accountable if you trouble Zhao Yufei in the future. The tone of the black and golden robed male became colder and said the last couple words with a pause between them. Did Zhao Yufei agree to the marriage? Zhao Feng's expression remained the same as he asked. The expression of the three males changed, and killing intent flashed through their eyes as they looked at Zhao Feng. If Zhao Yufei had agreed, then they wouldn't have needed to come here in the first place. The upper echelon of the Duan Mu family also told Zhao Yufei that they were negotiating with the Imperials and saying that they were going to cancel the marriage in order to calm her down, but the main target of the Duan Mu family's upper echelon and the Imperials was very obvious, Zhao Feng. You don't need to worry about that. The male from the Grand Duke's palace spoke in a decisive tone with a disdainful expression. From his point of view, a measly void god realm king from a two-star power was definitely unable to clash against the Imperials and the Duan Mu family. A goddess with the spiritual race bloodline wasn't something that he could have. Zhao Yufei and I come from the same family and we've been friends since we were young. We cultivated together and now have both come to the continent zone. Being her older brother, why can't I worry about it? Zhao Feng angrily told everyone an unknown truth. What? The hearts of everyone present shook. Zhao Feng and Zhao Yufei came from the same family? Even Duan Mu Qing didn't know this. Although the two were both surnamed Zhao, how many people were there in the world with this name? Everyone thought that this was just a coincidence, but Zhao Feng and Zhao Yufei really did come from the same family? This meant that Zhao Feng could be considered Zhao Yufei's older brother. An elder behind the black and golden robed man revealed a deadly smile and spoke slowly, utterly ridiculous. Do you really think that we'll believe you just because you say you're Zhao Yufei's older brother? There are far too many people in the world that have Zhao as their surname. Does that mean that all of them are Zhao Yufei's brothers? The black and golden robed male revealed a joyful expression as the elder said that. Are you afraid to let Zhao Yufei come out and join the conversation then? Zhao Feng snickered coldly. He could tell that there was something wrong with the engagement or else it wouldn't be so hard for him to even see Yufei. Zhao Yufei is currently in seclusion. She isn't someone you can see just because you want to. The male roared and was obviously impatiently. Junior, get out of here. The square-faced elder roared as his sacred lord or crushed over like a tsunami. Zhao Feng was caught off guard and took half a step back as the true Yuan and blood within his body tossed and turned. The other three people revealed a smug and cold smile. Duan Mu Qing felt that something was wrong since the upper echelon of the Grand Duke's palace and the Duan Mu family were both here. If Zhao Feng stayed, the situation might become even worse. Zhao Feng, leave first. If there's a chance, I'll let you see Junior Marshal's sister Yu Fei, Duan Mu Qing messaged. Zhao Feng gazed coldly toward the square-faced elder and the other three people. The three Imperials felt their souls shake when Zhao Feng's golden eye looked at them. It was as if all of their secrets had been exposed. Unknown fear spread across their bodies, and they started to sweat coldly. Master, this disciple will be leaving then. Zhao Feng bowed and immediately left. It was impossible for him to see Yu Fei even if he stayed. Since Duan Mu Cheng was from the Duan Mu family, it wasn't good for him to protect Zhao Feng. The three Imperials were all cunning and couldn't be killed. If Zhao Feng took action against them, it would only make him more infamous and give them a genuine reason to attack him. However, where should Zhao Feng go now? He took out the map he bought while they were traveling. The Duan Mu family is based in the Yun province, and I'm currently in range of Long Rainbow City. Let's go there for now. His five elemental wind lightning technique had reached the eighth level, the fire of wind lightning, but Zhao Feng didn't have any fire elemental resources and needed to purchase some. Within the hall of the Duan Mu family. Grand Elder, lead this to us. The male in black and golden robes revealed a wicked smile. Nine Darkness Palace doesn't know about Zhao Feng's whereabouts right now, but we'll tell them. An elder from the Imperials planned. Why don't we just do it ourselves? The other elder was impatient. Humph. Zhao Feng still has one more god-slaying arrow. However, 
A sacred lord from Nine Darkness Palace was killed by Zhao Feng, so they won't let him off so easily. The black and golden robed male revealed a cunning expression. He he, true. We'll let those from Nine Darkness Palace go first then. He only has one more god slaying arrow remaining. Zhao Feng can't escape. Four of the Duan Mu family's upper echelon members nearby had unwilling expressions, but they had to do so for the family. Grand Elder, don't worry. Once Zhao Feng dies, the marriage will be much easier. The 13th prince is extremely favored right now. If he becomes the crown prince and then becomes the sacred emperor. He he he. The black and golden robed male had an excited expression, and the expressions of the Duan Mu family's upper echelon became decisive. Everything was going forward just like how the black and golden robed male said it would. The Duan Mu family would soon be able to rise again and return to its peak. It might even become one of the best among the eight big families. Chapter 917, St. Herb Pavilion Although the 13th prince had average talent, his birth was extremely noble, and he was favored by the current sacred emperor. His mother was also the empress. Therefore, the forces behind the 13th prince were extremely strong, and due to Zhao Yufei's engagement, the Duan Mu family was now pulled onto the 13th prince's side as well. There were rumors that the empress was making even more preparations. Right now, the 13th prince even had the ability to fight with the 4th prince, who had the strongest power right now. The 13th prince had a big chance to become the crown prince. Even if he failed though, the 13th prince would have a high status among the imperials in the future, and the Duan Mu family could still use him to rise. The four upper echelon members of the Duan Mu family nodded their heads after thinking for a while. There was left than a year and a half left till the battle to become crown prince, and all the information agencies were gathering information regarding the princes to analyze who would be the winner. All forces in the Lord Dynasty were starting to take their sides. While Zhao Feng was looking around, he bought a report on the estimation of the prince's strengths. A total of ten princes were participating in the fight for crown prince. Amongst them, the fourth prince was smart and had the greatest strength. He was ready to fight right now and he was ranked first. The thirteenth prince had many powers behind him and was ranked second. Zhao Feng couldn't help but be surprised. One could see just how strong the forces behind him were for him to be ranked second. The ninth prince was extremely talented, but since he had a limited background, he was ranked sixth. The eighth prince was known for his calmness and was also talented. He was ranked seventh. However, this was just the current estimation of the princes, and there would be changes in the future. The ninth prince has the weakest background amongst the ten princes but is ranked sixth. Zhao Feng knew more about the ninth prince. Of the three princes he had interacted with, the ninth prince gave Zhao Feng a good impression. Zhao Feng stopped walking and looked at an elegant building ahead. St. Herb's Pavilion. This was the largest herbs market in Long Rainbow City, and it was the most famous in Yuan Province. With Zhao Feng's current wealth, he could obviously buy the best herbs and medicines. Welcome, may I ask what you need? I can introduce everything to you. An elegant female in a long green shirt came forward and helped the customers. I need precious and rare herbs of the fire element, Zhao Feng said. Sure, please come with me. The precious materials are all on the fifth floor. The elegant female was happy. She could tell just from his looks that this customer was not normal otherwise he wouldn't have asked for precious resources right away. The St. Herb Pavilion had nine floors. Each floor was extremely big and contained many resources, and Zhao Feng looked across all of them with one glance. The first floor of the St. Herb Pavilion was almost completely full and contained the resources needed by those at the true human rank. There were only a couple hundred sovereign lords on the fifth floor that were choosing their herbs. Zhao Feng's expression remained calm as he continued forward. Dear customer, you? The expression of the elegant female changed slightly. This customer didn't even look at the herbs on the fifth floor. I want the very best, Zhao Feng's voice sounded in this female's soul, and her body shook as she followed behind Zhao Feng, Dear customer, please come with me to the eighth floor. The higher floors had aura ceiling arrays, but Zhao Feng could still sense it. There were only five emperors on the eighth floor picking their herbs. Brother Zhao, why are you here? A handsome youth in golden robes paused for a moment as he saw Zhao Feng's golden hair before coming forward with joy. Behind the golden robed youth was an elder in black with one eye. He looked at Zhao Feng with a deep glance. 
The elegant female saw that young Master Nine knew this this golden-haired youth and immediately retreated because the pavilion owner had said that no one was to question anything about young Master Nine. Zhao Feng didn't expect to see the ninth prince here as well. The ninth prince needed to come personally to choose his own herbs? And needed old Ying to come with him? Zhao Feng seemed to guess something and raised his head toward the ninth floor. There were some things going on so I came here. Zhao Feng didn't want to talk about what happened in the Duan Mu family. May I know what brother Zhao thinks now? When the ninth prince saw Zhao Feng, he had thought that the latter agreed to his request and came here to find him specifically, but the ninth prince knew that he had thought too much after hearing Zhao Feng's reply. However, he didn't give up. As long as Zhao Feng wasn't recruited by any other prince, he still had a chance. I'm not sure yet, I still need to think for a while. Zhao Feng came here for the marriage and didn't have time to care about anything else yet. The ninth prince's expression faltered for a moment before smiling, this is indeed brother Zhao's personality. You're very similar to the one up top. Why not let brother nine introduce the one up top to me? Zhao Feng revealed a faint smile. Although the materials on the eighth floor were indeed rare, there wasn't a large amount of fire elemental resources. It was better to find the owner if he wanted to find more precious resources. Furthermore, the owner was definitely not simple if the ninth prince wanted to recruit them but felt defeated. Sure, let's go. The ninth prince immediately agreed. He now had an excuse to go back up. The instant he stepped onto the ninth floor, Zhao Feng knew that he had come to the right place since the air was filled with plentiful fire elemental atoms. Young Master Nine, you really don't need to come anymore. I won't agree, the voice of an impatient male sounded from the ninth floor. At the entrance was an elder in black clothes who had the cultivation of an emperor. He only gave a faint nod when he saw the ninth prince. Elder Sister Sewer, my friend brother Zhao wants to meet you and buy some precious resources while he's at it, the ninth prince explained. Zhao Feng looked over and saw a female in white clothes. Her skin was extremely smooth, but she had furrowed eyebrows. She bent down and looked at a purple beehive within a purple wooden box. Zhao Feng was slightly surprised. He didn't expect the owner of the St. Turb Pavilion to be such a young and pretty girl. Not interested. The other floors have all the materials. Joe Sewer's eyes were trained on the purple beehive, and she had furrowed eyebrows. She didn't even look at the ninth prince. The ninth prince looked at Zhao Feng and signaled that the owner's personality was like this and there was nothing he could do. Zhao Feng paused for a moment. Based on the fact that this girl didn't even put the ninth prince in her eyes, the force behind her was not normal. Pavilion owner, I came to the ninth floor because I want the resource in front of you. Zhao Feng looked at the beehive within the purple wooden box. Zhou Suer's eyebrows furrowed as she turned around and looked at Zhao Feng impatiently. You want this? Do you even know what it is? Zhou Suer was speechless. From her point of view, this was just some random person that the ninth prince found to talk to her. Sky Rainbow Fire Beehive, Zhao Feng quickly said. His left eye could see through anything and remember everything he ever saw. Joe Sewer was slightly surprised. This random person that the ninth prince found answered correctly. The ninth prince and old Ying paused as well. They didn't know the name of the beehive either, but Zhao Feng answered correctly. Could it be that Zhao Feng also knew a lot about herbs? N, you got it right, but the Sky Rainbow Fire Beehive hasn't been refined yet, so I'm not selling it. Joe Sewer inspected the youth in front of her and declined in a straightforward manner. Then get rid of all the poison and sell it to me, Zhao Feng said, and Joe Sewer almost fell over as she turned around and stared at Zhao Feng while she cursed in her heart, this brat is doing this on purpose. If I could get rid of the poison, then I would have done so long ago. Or you can sell it to me right now and I'll get rid of the poison myself, Zhao Feng added when he felt that Joe Sewer was looking at him with anger. What? You? Jo Suer exclaimed but stopped herself. She had obtained the Sky Rainbow Fire Beehive a month ago and still didn't know how to get rid of the poison, and now a random youth said that he could? Humph, if you take it back with you and die from the poison, it'll tarnish the name of the St. Herb Pavilion. Jo Suer pouted as she inspected Zhao Feng. How about I get rid of the poison right here, and if I succeed, you sell it to me? Zhao Feng smiled. Sure, if you can get rid of the poison in the Sky Rainbow Fire Beehive. I'll give it to you and help you choose whatever other resources you want. Joe Seward didn't believe this youth and his teens could really get rid of this poison. Of course, if he could, she could secretly learn the technique off him, so giving it to him wouldn't matter. The ninth prince revealed a joyful expression. 
if Zhao Feng really could get rid of the poison, then he'd have something to talk about with Zhou Suer. Zhao Feng looked at the purple beehive and circulated his magnificent power so that it floated in the air. A layer of golden light suddenly appeared from his left eye and released a surge of soul intent from his god tribulation lightning soul body. The three spectators and the elder guarding the entrance felt their souls shake as they looked at the golden-haired male in shock and panic. What strong soul intent! The elder guarding the doorway felt his heart tremble. Who is this youth? Joe Sewer's expression became solemn. This youth was definitely not normal. Only Old Ying and the Ninth Prince knew that Zhao Feng was actually suppressing his soul intent. Wang Tilda As the intent was released, a faint golden undulation merged from the golden ball into his left eye. Whoosh! A mysterious golden beam of light scraped across the surface of the purple beehive, and Zhao Feng soon understood the situation of the poison. The atoms of the poison flowed through the cracks of the beehive and almost became one with it, but from Zhao Feng's point of view, the poison atoms had the element of darkness while the atoms of the beehive had the elements of fire and wood. The difference between the two were extremely obvious, and the erosion of the poison wasn't very strong. The two types of atoms hadn't merged together yet. Disintegrate A faint golden light suddenly shot forward, and the surface of the purple beehive that was touched by the golden light instantly turned red. Zhou Suer and company had bulging eyes as they looked at Zhao Feng's golden eye in disbelief. It was this easy? Did he just change the color of it? At this moment, Zhao Feng stopped his disintegration. This was a new use that Zhao Feng had developed in the misty spatial world, and it was very useful for separating two atoms of different elements. It required more energy and control. Even though Zhao Feng had cultivated the 10,000 divine thoughts technique, he didn't dare to be overconfident. Zhao Feng wasn't able to use this technique in battle. You really got rid of the poison? How did you do it? Zhou Suer was unable to remain calm. She couldn't even figure out what he did, let alone secretly learn his skill. Chapter 918, Stubborn You really got rid of the poison? How did you do it? Zhou Suer was unable to remain calm. She couldn't even figure out what he did, let alone secretly learn his skill. Even Old Ying, who was extremely knowledgeable, was stunned and in deep thought. He thought that Zhao Feng would use some kind of unknown hand technique to get rid of the poison, not an eye bloodline technique. Most eye bloodline techniques affected the soul, it was very difficult to affect items in the physical world. On top of that, he couldn't even understand what type of eye bloodline technique it was. Whoosh! Zhao Feng waved his left arm and put the sky rainbow fire beehive into the misty spatial world. Take me to choose the other resources now. Zhao Feng ignored Zhou Suer's questioning and a playful smile appeared on his face. Fine, you can choose any ten items of the same value as the Sky Rainbow Fire Beehive. I won't charge you for them if you tell me how you got rid of the poison. Zhou Suer stomped her foot in anger and tried to acquire Zhao Feng's poison removal technique. One had to know that the value of the Sky Rainbow Fire Beehive was the same as a green water sky lotus, and it was very rare in the outside world. This was something that even more peak emperors couldn't resist. I have a lot of primal crystal stones, Zhao Feng replied. Fine, you have primal crystal stones, you can do whatever you want. Zhou Suer stomped her foot in anger and squeezed out a smile. This youth was extremely stubborn. The ninth prince laughed secretly. He didn't tell Zhou Suer about Zhao Feng's identity. Zhao Feng had obtained a lot in the divine illusion dimension and wouldn't care about the value of these materials. The ninth prince felt happy when he saw Zhou Suer, who had always rejected him. Be defeated by Zhao Feng, and he almost laughed out loud. I want the best fire elemental resources here. Zhao Feng went straight for the best. If it was under normal circumstances, Zhou Suer would be very happy if a customer said this, but at this moment in time, she glared at Zhao Feng with deadly eyes, and a sentence filled her heart, so stubborn. Zhou Suer took out some fire elemental resources from the treasury and let Zhao Feng choose from them. The golden eye allowed Zhao Feng to see the number of fire atoms within each herb, so Zhao Feng could see how much use each one was to him. Elder Sister Sewer, you should think it through. There are many rare herbs in the imperial tombs, and even some treasures left behind from the ancient era. The ninth prince went forward and tried to persuade her again. I've already thought it through. I'm not going. Zhao Sewer's eyes were still trained on Zhao Feng, who was picking herbs, and didn't bother with the ninth prince. I know you don't like father, but... The ninth prince sighed. Shut up. 
Don't you dare talk about him. Zhou Suer stopped the ninth prince, and her gaze went cold. Zhao Feng was surprised, and he could guess the identity of this girl. The ninth prince wanted to recruit Zhou Suer mainly because of her healing abilities. Zhao Feng originally just wanted to buy some resources, and if he could, help the ninth prince recruit whoever he wanted, but the ninth prince was stopped by Zhou Suer right away. The current sacred emperor favors the thirteenth prince, and he is very likely to become the crown prince. If you don't like the current sacred emperor, then why don't you help the ninth prince become the crown prince? Isn't that very good? Zhao Feng gave a warm smile as he finished picking what he wanted and casually said with the identity of a bystander. Zhou Suer's heart seemed to be touched, and she turned toward Zhao Feng as if she was about to say something. In the end, she didn't say anything and just looked into the distance. The hearts of the ninth prince and old Ying jumped. What Zhao Feng said was perfect, and only an outsider's words could persuade her. The ninth prince gave Zhao Feng a grateful expression before turning toward Zhou Zuer and awaiting her reply. Zhao Feng took the herbs and left an interspatial ring behind before leaving. He then walked around for a while after leaving the St. Turb Pavilion before leaving the market. There were continuous hills and trees around. This was a place where there weren't many people. You guys are pretty patient. Zhao Feng stopped and suddenly turned around as his left eye locked onto a certain place several thousand miles away. Go. Four gray figures shot out from the forest and surrounded Zhao Feng. Demonic Tao Aura? Nine Darkness Palace? Zhao Feng asked as he looked at a grim-faced elder. The elder didn't move. He started to send messages to the other three. They had been following Zhao Feng from the very beginning and became cautious when they saw that Zhao Feng had entered the St. Herb Pavilion and started to talk with the Ninth Prince on the Eighth Floor. The current time period was extremely sensitive, especially if something had anything to do with the battle for Crown Prince or the Princes. If Zhao Feng was recruited by the Ninth Prince and they killed him, then the Imperials would definitely find out, and because that would disturb the battle for Crown Prince, even Nine Darkness Palace would be in trouble. A black metallic token suddenly appeared in the Elder's hands, and with a soul undulation, a surge of information entered the Elder's soul. The Elder with the grim expression faintly nodded toward the other three figures, and the four demonic Tao Emperors instantly spread their little worlds and merged them together. An invisible force full of laws filled the air. It was as if Zhao Feng had entered a world of darkness. Dark beams shot through the air, and they could shake one's soul. The laws of the little world made space unstable so the misty spatial world couldn't be used. Nine Darkness Palace still hasn't learned their lesson after losing a sacred lord last time? Zhao Feng smiled and spoke confidently. Junior, you really think you can kill a sacred lord without a substandard god weapon? The elder covered in darkness couldn't help but snicker. Zhao Feng was only at the late stages of the void god realm, and even if he was extremely talented, they had three unrivaled emperors and one peak emperor. This was more than enough. Furthermore, they had a plan to counter him. The four surrounded Zhao Feng and slowly damaged him with long-range attacks. Once Zhao Feng used his god-slaying arrow, they would run, and only one of them would die, which was simply a matter of their luck. The four emperors all used their little worlds to increase their power, and Zhao Feng became suppressed. Sacred Lightning Dominating Body Zhao Feng's body glittered with golden arcs of lightning as he became taller and turned into a miniature giant. His physical strength caused the four little worlds to twist and become unstable. Boom. Boom. The four emperors' attacks landed on Zhao Feng's body and caused lightning to flash, but they soon faded away. What? This junior's body has become so strong? The elder with the grim expression was surprised. In the information that he had received, it said that Zhao Feng's physical defense was extremely strong but he didn't expect it to have reached such a level that he could manage to block the attacks of four emperors. This meant that it would be hard to force Zhao Feng to use the god-slaying arrow. Attack with our full strength. The voice of an old granny sounded from within a ball of demonic black flames as she sent out a weird black and white fire with her hands. We can't let him live. A black and white bone staff appeared in the hands of the elder with a grim expression. There was a black demonic pearl on it that gave off a cold aura. Demonic Sky Blast. The elder with the grim expression waved the bone staff, and the black demonic pearl released a surge of demonic light in a soul undulation. Boom. 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 The four emperors circulated their power and attacked with their full strength. The entire world of darkness started to shake as ghastly cries and screams sounded. Ha ha ha, come. Sacred Lightning Protection. Wang Tilda. 
a barrier of lightning suddenly appeared around Zhao Feng alongside the hum of wind and lightning. All the attacks were blocked by the sacred lightning protection as lightning crackled. Boom! The barrier glittered with lightning and crushed all of the attacks, and the soul attack that passed through touched Zhao Feng's god tribulation lightning soul body and was instantly destroyed. Zhao Feng watched all of this happen and suddenly had a thought. Could he alter the sacred lightning protection and create a defensive soul technique? However, right now wasn't the time. Zhao Feng hadn't fought with anyone head-on after his sacred lightning body reached the peak fifth level. There was finally someone here that could be used to test his sacred lightning body and ignite the physical power within his body. The power of the little world nearby suddenly disappeared. The four demonic Dao emperors had used secret techniques to run away. Not good, I revealed too much of my strength and scared them away. Zhao Feng felt slightly awkward before laughing coldly. But can you guys run away? Boom. This voice sounded in the souls of the four emperors and caused their souls to shake. They started to sweat as they ran away even faster. Wang Wang. Zhao Feng's left eye released a surge of golden soul power. A faint golden eye of heaven appeared in the sky above the elder with a grim expression. A bolt of golden lightning shot down into the elder's soul. The golden lightning entered the depths of his soul before the power of God tribulation lightning flashed, and the elder's body fell. At the same time, a beam of golden light landed on the head of a black figure who was trying to escape several thousand miles away. A weird scene happened, the black figure's head suddenly disappeared, and then his body fell. Lightning Wing's Spatial Flash After using two eye bloodline techniques, Zhao Feng turned into a scarlet red bolt of lightning that disappeared into the air. The next instant, Zhao Feng reappeared several thousand miles away, and his sacred lightning body released a pressure that crushed down on the area. The scarlet wings of lightning behind his back flapped and raised a storm of fire and lightning. Sacred Lightning Dominating Fist Zhao Feng punched out with both hands and unleashed fist after fist of golden light that engulfed the granny in black. Not dead yet? Zhao Feng's eyes locked onto a blinking dark figure. Bam! Zhao Feng circulated his blood devil sun bloodline and radiated a wave of fire. Shu Tilda! Zhao Feng charged forward with unparalleled speed and power. Boom! The granny was hit by a ball of fire and lightning, and her body shattered into pieces. Meow! With a flash of dark silver, the little thieving cat appeared on Zhao Feng's shoulder and had a successful expression. Four emperors had been killed. Zhao Feng let out a breath. Due to many reasons, he couldn't do anything at the Duan Mu family and was extremely frustrated, but these people from Nine Darkness Palace came and let him release his anger. It was very nice of them. After finishing off these four people, Zhao Feng revealed a faint smile as he looked into the distance, was that a good show for you too? Chapter 919, I Want to Kill as Well Was that a good show for you too? Zhao Feng's calm greeting sounded in the souls of two middle-aged males and woke them up from their days as their souls started to shake in fear and panic. The two looked at one another, then took out a dark yellow talisman and imprinted their soul intents into it. The talisman then merged into the air and disappeared. They were responsible for getting information, and they specialized in tracking, sensing, and stealth, so they were able to understand most of the battle just now. However, they never would have expected Zhao Feng to have noticed them from the beginning. Zhao Feng purposely chased after the old granny in order to get closer to these two while they were unaware so that they didn't run away. They approved of Zhao Feng's strength and intelligence, and since they couldn't escape, the only thing they could do before they died was to send news out. Whoosh! A faint golden beam shot forward into the distance. The next instant, the dark yellow talisman appeared and slowly faded away. The hearts of the two males shook once again as they looked at the arriving giant of fire and lightning with despair. They found it hard to speak just from the pressure alone, and they knelt on the ground, awaiting their future. Zhao Feng's left eye released a surge of soul power that immediately restrained the two male souls. Soul Search A wicked soul undulation came from his left eye and charged into their souls. Two breaths later, Zhao Feng waved his hand, and the power of scarlet lightning and his fire bloodline turned the two men into ashes. Thirteenth Prince Zhao Feng's eyes went cold. After performing the soul search, he now knew everything. The Thirteenth Prince's force had sent news about Zhao Feng to Nine Darkness Palace. They wanted to let Nine Darkness Palace take action first because they were scared of Zhao Feng's god-slaying arrow and wanted to probe his power. 
If Nine Darkness Palace failed, the next assassins would be better equipped to counter Zhao Feng. As I thought, Yu Fei is being tricked. Zhao Feng was now completely sure, and his eyes became cold. Getting rid of Zhao Feng was part of the 13th Prince's plan. As long as Zhao Feng died, Zhao Yu Fei's support would crumble, and with the engagement, the 13th Prince would be able to comfort Yu Fei and slowly win her heart. Then, if he became the Crown Prince, then everything would become much easier. Hee hee, you want me to die and become the Crown Prince? Zhao Feng laughed coldly as a cold light flashed through his eyes. Invisible killing intent made the sky turn dark. But Nine Darkness Palace and the Thirteenth Prince's force won't give up so easily. Zhao Feng revealed a thoughtful expression. The Thirteenth Prince would definitely try to get rid of Zhao Feng in order to get Zhao Yufei, and the forces behind him were extremely strong. On top of that, Nine Darkness Palace had the same idea as the Thirteenth Prince, and they were even willing to send four emperors in order to force Zhao Feng to use his god-slaying arrow. Those four emperors probably didn't even know that the upper echelon of Nine Darkness Palace didn't have any hope of them killing Zhao Feng. However, they were all dead now, and no one would be able to send any information. After thinking for a while, Zhao Feng revealed a smile. He he he, looks like this is destiny. The Ninth God's Eye. The Ninth Prince. Since he made a decision, Zhao Feng immediately flew toward Long Rainbow City. Back in the same Turb Pavilion, the Ninth Prince was still on the ninth floor talking with Zhou Suer, so Zhao Feng just went straight up. Why are you back here again? Zhou Suer's dissatisfied voice sounded. She couldn't do anything to Zhao Feng. This youth was just too stubborn. Zhao Feng completely ignored her and walked to the Ninth Prince. Ninth Prince, if your promise still stands, then I agree. The Ninth Prince paused for a moment before becoming filled with joy. When he saw Zhao Feng, he asked this question, and Zhao Feng replied that he still had to think about it. He didn't have much hope since two and a half years of time should have been more than enough time for Zhao Feng to think all of it through. However, Zhao Feng left for five minutes, and now he suddenly came back and agreed. Like Zhou Su were thought, Zhao Feng was stubborn, but because of what Zhao Feng suggested earlier, his talks with Zhou Su were progressing forward. The Ninth Prince was instantly filled with confidence. In his heart, Zhao Feng specialized in soul attacks and could become one of his main battle powers. He was also a talented beast tamer, and he had the misty spatial world, which was extremely useful. Zhou Suer's eyebrows furrowed slightly. After Zhao Feng left, the Ninth Prince told her about his identity and surprised her. She felt a lot better after thinking about how all the other forces in the Divine Illusion Dimension and Ancient Mysterious Palace had been beaten by Zhao Feng and couldn't do anything either. The Ninth Prince then told her how he wanted to recruit Zhao Feng, but he still hadn't agreed even after two and a half years. He hadn't joined any other prince's force yet either. Zhou Suer was the same. Right now, the fourth, seventh, and eighth princes had also come more than once, but she rejected all of them. Why did you suddenly agree? Zhou Suer walked forward and looked at Zhao Feng's eyes. Zhao Feng didn't agree to the Ninth Prince after two and a half years' time. Why did he suddenly agree after going out for a while? She felt extremely puzzled. What could have happened to make him so decisive? Because I want to kill the 13th prince. Zhao Feng gave a faint smile as he spoke. First, the 13th prince basically ruined Zhao Feng's relationship with the Duan Mu family. Duan Mu Qing didn't know what to do about the situation, and Zhao Yufei was extremely sad and worried. Now, he tried to kill Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng couldn't forgive such a person. The expressions of the Ninth Prince, Old Ying, and the Elder in Black who was guarding the entrance changed dramatically. They all stopped breathing as they looked deeply at Zhao Feng. If those words were said in public, then Zhao Feng would be destined to die. Although the Ninth Prince was the Thirteenth Prince's older brother, almost all of the princes had different mothers. While it seemed like the relationship between princes was calm, everyone hoped the others would die. They wouldn't take action themselves, but they wouldn't be sad if it happened. None of the princes would attack another prince even in secret, because once they were found out, their imperial bloodlines would be stripped away forever. Hee <laughs> hee. Zhou Suer suddenly started to laugh coldly and then spoke in a nonchalant tone, I also want to kill younger brother 13th prince. I agree. The ninth prince was still wondering why Zhao Feng would say what he did, and Zhou Suer also suddenly agreed to his recruitment. All of this came too quickly, and he couldn't believe it. In just an instant, he had two experts on his side. He suddenly thought that all of this was because of the 13th prince, 
so he should give the latter his thanks. Old Ying revealed a smile as he gave Zhao Feng a deep glance. The original chance of the ninth prince winning was zero, but now there was a tinge of hope. Little friend Zhao Feng, now that we're on the same side, can you tell me how you got rid of the poison? Zhou Suer's attitude suddenly changed as she revealed a cute smile and looked at Zhao Feng as if they were very familiar with each other. The others nearby started to sweat. As they thought, women flipped faces faster than books. However, they were also curious about that matter. I'll explain later when I have the time. However, now that we're on the same side, are the herbs in the St. Herb Pavilion free? Zhao Feng avoided Zhou Suer's question and countered. It didn't really matter if he told them about the ability of his left eye, but the principles behind it definitely couldn't be spread. Zhou Suer's face instantly stiffened. Indeed, it was impossible for her to be at an advantage against Zhao Feng. Ha ha ha. The ninth prince laughed. Today was a good day. Ninth prince, I've just come to the inner area of the continent and don't have anywhere to stay. May I? Zhao Feng asked slowly in an awkward tone. He also came to the ninth prince to find a place to stay. I understand. Why not come to my place? It's a common quiet place that suits cultivation. The ninth prince instantly understood what Zhao Feng meant, and he knew how much of a cultivation maniac Zhao Feng was, so he invited Zhao Feng to his place. Thank you. Zhao Feng faintly nodded his head and wasn't very respectful. There was no place safer than the imperial palace. This meant that he now had an identity as well, so even the thirteenth prince and nine darkness palace wouldn't dare to attack him. Elder sister Sewer, then I'll be leaving. The ninth prince said goodbye to Zhou Sewer. Then he left toward the Imperial Palace with Zhao Feng and Old Ying. Ninth Prince, Zhou Suer is a princess? Zhao Feng could guess a thing or two from how the Ninth Prince called Zhou Suer. That's right, and elder sister Suer was once father's most favored princess, the Ninth Prince gave a faint smile and said. Then why did she leave the palace? Zhao Feng didn't understand. Why did Zhou Suer dislike the sacred emperor and the thirteenth prince? Zhou Suer's mother was once the empress, but now she's gone. The ninth prince's expression softened a little as he sighed. There was no such thing as friendship between princes, but it was different with princesses since they had no reason to interfere with princes. All of the princes would try to get on the princess's good side because their future partners would be extremely famous and strong. Zhao Feng faintly nodded his head as he understood. After Zhou Suer's mother died, the sacred emperor married another woman whose son happened to be the thirteenth prince. However, while Zhao Feng had said what he did, he wouldn't act rashly. The thirteenth prince had the sacred emperor and empress behind his back, and behind the Lord Dynasty was the four-star Grand Imperial Hall. He wouldn't take action against the thirteenth prince unless he was certain of victory. More than twenty days later, Zhao Feng arrived at the Imperial Palace. Zhao Feng could feel a surge of power guarding this place when he got close. Zhao Feng felt as if all his actions were controlled by a mysterious power when he entered. Apart from the sacred emperor and a few others, Flying was not allowed here. Zhao Feng followed the ninth prince and entered through the main gates of the imperial palace. Zhao Feng? A familiar voice sounded. Big brother eighth prince. The ninth prince had a faint smile and a smug expression. He believed that the eighth and thirteenth princes knew how strong Zhao Feng was. The eighth prince even knew Zhao Feng before the divine illusion dimension, but it was the ninth prince that managed to recruit Zhao Feng. It was still Luo Zun next to the eighth prince. They both had complicated expressions as they looked at Zhao Feng. The eighth prince was actually slightly regretful. If it wasn't for Luo Xuyer, he wouldn't have harassed Zhao Feng so many times, and maybe it would have been him that recruited Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng's display in the Divine Illusion Dimension had even suppressed an important subordinate of the fourth prince, Sin Wuhang. Zhao Feng had now reached the late stages of the Void God Realm, but the eighth prince didn't dare to estimate his true strength nor look at the Golden Eye. His soul would tremble if he did so. Chapter 920 Entering the Imperial Palace Younger brother Ninth Prince, congratulations on recruiting such an expert, the Eighth Prince said. He and Luo Zun felt disgusted and helpless when facing Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng's mysteriousness and his troublesome ways were deeply imprinted in their hearts. However, the Ninth Prince recruiting Zhao Feng didn't change the situation much. After all, the force behind the ninth prince was too weak, and he didn't have many strong experts. His overall strength was still ranked very low. According to previous experience, 
the crown prince only came from the princes ranked in the top five. Those that were ranked lower had almost no chance of winning. They went to the imperial tomb to find fortune and consolidate their strength. They might be able to receive a high position of power in the future, and it would be even better if they could join the Grand Imperial Hall. However, there was still some time till the battle for Crown Prince, so no one knew what would happen. They greeted the Ninth Prince and soon left. There was nothing to say between Zhao Feng and Luo Zun. Luo Zun. The Eighth Prince could sense that Luo Zun was acting weird, and he knew why. When they first met Zhao Feng, he wasn't even a true lord. They didn't put him in their eyes at all. But now Zhao Feng had become a peak existence amongst the younger generation. His ranking on the Imperial Dao Geniuses had risen to seventh place. It wasn't a good feeling seeing a weak ant become stronger step by step and surpassing them. Eight Prince, I'm fine. Zhao Feng will definitely not be my match when my dual element little world is formed. Luo Zun's eyes suddenly released a bright light as battle intent burned in his heart. He was now a void god realm emperor. The main difference between kings and emperors was the understanding of heaven and earth and the power of their little world. If Luo Zun was able to fully form his dual element little world, he wouldn't be scared even of old peak emperors. That's good. Even if our next talk doesn't go well, our overall strength will increase. Even if he wasn't the hot candidate to become the crown prince, the eighth prince was going to give it his all and leave no regrets. The imperial tombs had many secrets. It wasn't always the strongest that one. The Great Gone Imperial Palace was extremely magnificent and was filled with golden light. It was as if there was a golden scaled dragon staying here. The heaven earth Yuan Chi within the palace was several tiers higher than the outside world, and there was the invisible protection of providence here. The princes stayed in the areas of the palace with the densest Yuan Chi. Many members of the imperial force greeted them on the way. Your Highness Ninth Prince. Ninth Prince is back? Your Highness acquired a lot this time. While they were greeting the Ninth Prince, they were also inspecting Zhao Feng curiously. They didn't need to ask, they knew that this person that the Ninth Prince had recruited was extremely young. What did he specialize in for the Ninth Prince to take him here personally? However, those that didn't think well of the Ninth Prince didn't pay much attention to Zhao Feng. Most of the people that were recruited by a prince were legends from the older generation. There were some exceptions such as Sin Wuhang under the fourth prince, but Sin Wuhang was famous across the great Gan Lord dynasty. Who knew what kind of place this golden-haired brat came from? He's too young. Even if he is talented, he's inexperienced, so he won't be of much use. Of course, only those with strength and intelligence know what to choose. An old butler quickly came forward when the ninth prince returned. Your Highness, just a while ago, Grand Master Beast Tamer Liang Sang from Sky Pond City came to visit. The butler had a joyful expression as he reported while he also inspected Zhao Feng. Okay, the ninth prince replied before leading Zhao Feng to a side hall. The old butler paused for a moment. Beast Tamer Liang Sang was someone that the ninth prince placed great importance on. He wanted to recruit the man but had been declined. Now that Beast Tamer Liang Sang had come to visit, the ninth prince was acting like he didn't care. There was definitely something going on. Your Highness. Liang Sang said that if you can give him five rare peak tier king beasts, he will agree, the old butler followed behind and continued. If Liang Sang comes again in the future, just decline him straight away, the ninth prince led Zhao Feng to an extravagant side hall and told the old butler. The old butler was stunned. Decline him straight away? Could the ninth prince have already found a beast tamer? It wasn't that golden-haired youth, right? Could it be that his highness has already given up on the battle for crown prince? The old butler shook his head. Such a young beast tamer was definitely not a match for beast tamer Liang Sang. There were a few princes among the ten princes that weren't actually interested in becoming the crown prince. However, these princes still had the ability to take people into the imperial tombs with him, so a lot of forces paid a heavy price to try to obtain a spot and let the geniuses of their families or factions go in to find fortune. From the old butler's point of view, his Highness may have sold a spot to some faction or family. Ninth Prince, I'll be staying here for now then. Zhao Feng was very straightforward and direct. The Heaven Earth Yuan Chi here was extremely dense, and he had the protection of Providence here. Cultivating here would be much easier. Brother Zhao, I have some things to attend to. You can stay here without worry. If you need anything, just tell Butler Chi. The Ninth Prince and Butler Chi told him some things before leaving with Old Ying. 
Zhao Feng walked into the hall and entered seclusion. His cultivation was still too low. There was no limit on age for the experts that entered the imperial tombs, which meant that it wasn't just an exchange between those of the younger generation. It was also between the previous generation and elites of the older generation. Each team had someone responsible for a certain aspect. Since Zhao Feng was using the Ninth Prince to protect himself, he would help the Ninth Prince as much as he could. The God Tribulation had floated in the dimension of his left eye above the Golden Ball. Zhao Feng found that, even though the Purple Mist had disappeared, he could summon the power of God Tribulation Lightning, and it would automatically disappear and merge into his soul. Zhao Feng's soul was more condensed than others. A strong soul meant a strong mind and strong soul intent. Furthermore, his soul contained the symbols of God Tribulation Lightning, which would appear whenever he circulated his soul power. Therefore, any of Zhao Feng's soul attacks would contain God Tribulation Lightning. Once his Golden Kun Sacred Lightning body broke through to the sixth level, he would be able to use the God Tribulation Lightning soul body to refine his Sacred Lightning body. At that point in time, Zhao Feng's soul and physical body would both contain the intent of God Tribulation Lightning, which would be of great help when he faced the God Tribulation in the future. Zhao Feng split his consciousness into four parts. The first was to absorb the God Tribulation Lightning. The second cultivated the fire of wind lightning. The third comprehended the structure of particles within the golden ball, and the fourth refined the sacred lightning body by using the power of scarlet lightning blood fire, which was formed by merging the blood devil sun bloodline and the fire of wind lightning. Fire scaled grass, fireweed. Zhao Feng took out the fire elemental resources he had bought from the Saint Turb pavilion and used them. If others saw this, they would curse at him and cough out blood. These resources were extremely rare, and even peak emperors would turn them into spiritual pills first, but Zhao Feng just directly ate everything. I haven't removed all the poison from the sky rainbow fire beehive yet, so I'll use it later. The aura of fire radiating from Zhao Feng's body instantly rose, and his fire of wind lightning started to boil. His fire of wind lightning threw Yuan quickly circulated and absorbed the medicinal energy while the remaining part of the energy was absorbed by the Blood Devil Sun bloodline. On this day, the fire of wind lightning within Zhao Feng's crystal core rose rapidly. My fire of wind lightning has consolidated at the early stages. Hu Tilda. Zhao Feng let out a breath. He understood most of the theory behind particles within the golden ball in the dimension of his left eye. After all, Zhao Feng hadn't disintegrated many items yet, so he hadn't really received any important information yet. There's nothing of value to disintegrate in the little world of the misty spatial world, Zhao Feng concluded. If he wanted to disintegrate flowers, he could just disintegrate real flowers of the outside world. Zhao Feng's eyes suddenly lit up. There was an earth grade weapon within the storage of the misty spatial world, and he took it out. If I disintegrate the enemy's weapon in battle, he he he. Zhao Feng circulated the power of his left eye, and a faint golden beam of light shot through the weapon, but the earth grade weapon didn't change even after a long time. Creating any weapon requires a couple dozen or even hundreds of materials, and they're refined together through high temperature. The atoms have changed shape and have merged with each another. Zhao Feng stopped the disintegration and closed his left eye. Just now, his left eye had received a lot of information regarding the structure of metallic elemental atoms. However, most of these atoms had changed shape. The toughness of weapons was decided by how condensed the atoms were, and the countless atoms made Zhao Feng's head dizzy. As I thought, disintegrating a weapon isn't realistic. Zhao Feng had to give up for now. At the same time, within another hall. Reporting to the 13th Prince, these are the people that the 9th Prince took into the palace a while ago. A servant knelt on the ground and handed over a white piece of paper. The 13th Prince took the white piece of paper, and the image of the handsome male with golden hair and a golden eye entered his mind when his soul intent touched it. This. Isn't this Zhao Feng? The thirteenth prince immediately stood up with an enraged expression. What? Jinner, you said that the ninth prince took Zhao Feng into the imperial palace? A powerful male sitting on a chair in the back stood up with deadly eyes. Uncle, it's Zhao Feng, but the color of his eye and hair has changed. The thirteenth prince was completely sure. Bunch of trash. The powerful male had an enraged expression. He wanted to kill Zhao Feng, and his subordinates had promised him that Zhao Feng would die but now Zhao Feng had entered the imperial palace and was most likely the ninth prince's subordinate now. Since he was now part of a prince's force, 
they weren't allowed to touch him.